hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting python tutorial so uh, before we go ahead and view the video i wanted to show you my blog it's ghost g1 programming.blogspot.com so i'll leave the link down below if you're interested in the scripts maybe copy and paste it and just try it yourself so uh, we will go ahead and view the video <coughs> hello guys and welcome to another python tutorial so today we're gonna take a step to the next level of programming so we're gonna take our program into the advanced category not that advanced but at least we can manipulate something outside the python program it's not just input and output like print or input so let's get to it first we're gonna right click in here and we're gonna create a new file so the file shall be named click underscore but yes ladies and gentlemen we're gonna create a click bot but it's not that advanced it's just pretty basic click bot so it's not that big of a deal to create this click bot any anybody can do it so let's just use part one so I don't know how many parts that should take us take uh, take us to do, but I think uh, it should be two. But who knows? So let's try click bot part one. So let's try to. So instead of just importing, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use Tinkerter by the way. If you if you're a uh, trying to put uh, to, to put together this program by yourself and then compare my program with your program it's cool for those who continued playing this video so let's go instead of importing tkinter we're gonna import a star so we're gonna import everything by the way star means everything from tkinter so remember when we did the, the uh, time module so it's time dot sleep so instead of using time dot sleep I'm just gonna use sleep so instead of uh, putting tick in here you can replace tick in with time and then you can just put sleep and how many seconds and it will work just fine so we did this one now we need a window so we need a variable like X or G or F or something so I'm just gonna put it like GH is equal to uppercase T and lowercase K and between okay so we put this and we hit enter so G no no uppercase G GH dot now we're gonna set the position so it won't appear randomly in the screen so geometry so <coughs> excuse me we're gonna put 400 x 300 that's the uh, width and height of the window and then we're gonna say the position is like plus 100 plus 100 position of the screen from the top and the bottom so we need to put our window to test so main loop so you need to put the main loop here so that the window can appear okay so we got the window if you close the program and run again it's the same it's in the same spot so that's perfect so what we need do to do next is add a button to a clickable button so we can start our counter with it so let's make space in here between the main loop and and the other the the upper program that's why uh, the main loop should be left into the last uh, into the last line so uh, it will pack all the uh, program the uh, window and the buttons and everything into one window so if you do if you if you if you put that and then put another button under it it won't work so let's say C button 
okay that means click button you can assign any variable by the way it's just a variable so let's do button it's a built-in function in tcontrol and let's start with text you can start with everything I just started with text so let's put anything in here yeah that's it let's take something basic so click here okay we need to put the front ground color which is white I just prefer white you can put green you can put black you can put uh, any color you want actually they have too many colors by the way <laughs> it's not just the basic colors there are too many colors you, uh, you should check them out so background is equal to let's just say black so the white will appear more uh, more so uh, and I guess I guess let's try it right now let's do n let's not put any uh, let's not put any further right in into our script let's just test it so as you can see there is no button why is that because we didn't uh, remember the ticketer needs main loop and anything inside it needs something so that the uh, the script or so that the ticketer will know to we know that's something you need to to appear so uh, we need the pack function also so uh, you can just pick up from dot pack in here and you put it right here but I just try to put my uh, program a little neatly so <coughs> you can do either either both and it will work just fine so let's start our program and as you can see we got the button that is clickable so in just two lines instead of wasting 400 hours just trying to put a program uh, just put trying to put this program tick enter makes it easy so now we're gonna try uh, to put something like a counter into our button each time that it clicks like this it will register that click while the program is running so let's just go up here and define a function let's just say it's click click yep okay so now x plus equal one so that each time it's clicked this function when each time it's cl uh, it's called it will add one to x variable now we need here x equal zero guys so the first time it will be equal zero <coughs> and then one and add one each time we click that button so now we need to print also x so we can see uh, how many times did we clicked it we don't need to print it each time so we need to print uh, uh, randomly I mean randomly we don't need to print the x randomly we need to print it each time we uh, click the button so we, uh, we need to put it inside the clicked function so another error that you will find out when you're using this thing is that X is not defined globally it's just uh, in this function and we got a X outside the function so we need to put global <coughs> X sorry about that excuse me so uh, when we use global X it will refer this X as uh, as a variable to use everywhere inside this script so it's not just the X inside this function it will take the X outside of this function and add to it one so if I write X equals 12 we will have X equals 13 after we click that button and of course we need to assign that uh, function to the button so each time it is clicked uh, it will add one so it's just easy as this command sorry little typo is equal to guess what function name clicked that's all
so let's try our program and we got click here let's click here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's perfect so guys we need to put the button that we need to fill it up like we need to fill this window right here so we need to put the dimensions of the window so let's try height is equal to 100 and width is equal to 100 in that way the button will be all over this window just to make it easier for our uh, click bot to find it okay so if I click in here it will be clickable everywhere in this inside this window I guess that's it for this tutorial I'll see you in the next part okay stay safe well that's it guys for this uh, video for today click the like button if you like the video and click on the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notified if I upload any videos in the future and you can see on the right there is my latest video click on it if you haven't watched it yet